everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be taking a little walk down memory lane of my former collaborations with DaVinci while I get to show you their brand new packaging as well as announce a new product and a new palette. This will be an unboxing video rather than a review or a demo, so if you prefer some of my longer form or more in-depth content, this may not be exactly what you're looking for. However, I'm really excited to share these new products with you and I hope you enjoy taking a first look at them. This video is not sponsored, but to be fully transparent, as many of you already know, I do work with DaVinci to create watercolor palettes, I earn a commission on the palettes that I've taken time to curate, and I do have an affiliate link in the description below, which allows me to earn an additional commission on general sales for orders that you place using that link. I'm extremely grateful to DaVinci for giving me the opportunity to share my watercolor vision with my community, but I'm even more grateful for all of your support, which gave me the opportunity to do so in the first place. In October of last year, we launched my first collaboration with DaVinci in the form of one of their trio projects. There are a dozen or so trios on their site and each serve as a way to try out their watercolors at an affordable price. Each trio is curated by a professional artist and mine is titled Moody. The trios now come in a schnazzy little box and include the artist pamphlet about the set. Six months later, in April of this year, I was ecstatic to announce the launch of my very first palette with them, Denise's Earth Friendly Da Vinci Watercolor Palette. This set took months to carefully research and compile so that it would contain colors that are all non-toxic, vegan, and what I would generally consider to be all-around earth-friendly pigments. This set has an array of primary colors so that you can mix to your heart's content, as well as a wide range of earth tones that I regularly use straight from the pans, including my very own signature green that they created for me. A few months ago, DaVinci also released the refill set for this palette, which includes 8 milliliter tubes of all 24 colors in the set. On to the new stuff. DaVinci is very excited to launch their new fill and paint pan sets, which pair the tube sets that I just mentioned with a palette that is ready to fill. Each palette comes with the appropriate number of pans, and each 8 milliliter tube can fill a pan two and a half to three times, plus a lot of us really love that filling of getting to fill our own palettes ourselves. My version of this set is exactly like my original Earth Friendly palette, with the added flexibility of working from the tubes and filling your own pans as I mentioned. Da Vinci hand pours their pan sets from their own tubes anyway, so the formula is exactly the same as what you would be getting in the pre-poured set, just that you get more of it. The tubes are organized in the intended palette order, and seeing them all lined up in color order makes my color-loving heart very, very happy. The overall size of the box feels really hefty and special, and it would make for a really beautiful premium gift this holiday season. And now we're going to have a brief little interlude as we feel this beautiful beast, but be sure to stick around for the main announcement in this video in a few moments.
Now for the news that I have been dying to share with all of you, a brand new set that is launching today called Nisa's Wildlife Watercolor Palette. We definitely heard your requests for some smaller versions of the pan sets, and I was really excited when Da Vinci contacted me about this opportunity. I spent a lot of time thinking over and talking with my patrons about what type of 12 color watercolor travel palette I would like to create. Would I create a completely different, bright and colorful transparent watercolor set? Well, I could, but I really feel like that's more of Otto's jam than my own. So then it was like, do I create a general purpose mixing set? And again, I could, but that's pretty much available from any other brand on the market. Ultimately, my patrons voted and I agreed that a wildlife focused palette leaning towards a mini version of my earth friendly palette would feel the most fitting for me. I decided to choose colors that I personally use all the freaking time and ones that I would be rather lost without. Those of you who already have my earth friendly palette may recognize some familiar faces here. While I realize that there is a lot of overlap between the two sets, and I'm not implying that if you already own the larger one that you need this one too, I really wanted to set out to offer a more affordable version of the larger palette while also staying true to myself and my personal painting practices. Basically, I looked at my palette and asked what colors do I use most often and what colors do I miss not having available to me? It may not be the flashiest or sexiest of palettes, but it is exceptionally functional for the subjects that I paint. So without further ado, here's the lineup. The set starts off with a primary mixing trio. The first color is Hansa Yellow Medium PY74, which actually isn't included in my Earth Friendly palette, but to be entirely honest, it is nearly identical to PY97, which is in that palette. I chose PY74 purely for variety, so that if you already have the other set, you get to try out a new pigment here, but it is functionally pretty much the same as my other favorite yellow staples like PY97 and PY154. Next is Alizarin Crimson Quinacridone made from PV19 followed by Ultramarine Blue made from PB29. If you've seen my other Da Vinci videos, you already know how much I love the Alizarin and how smooth their Ultramarine Blue is, so I won't spend too much time here talking about that. However, I will address the elephant in the room of why I chose a more primary school red and blue rather than a in quotes, proper magenta and cyan for ideal mixing. This whole set is rooted in its functionality for painting wildlife, and while magenta and cyan will mix you cleaner colors, they really didn't fit here in this palette during my testing phase. They were way too bright and felt out of place, so I opted for pigments that would intentionally mix earthier secondary colors. Next up is a pigment that is not included in my Earth Friendly palette. While Cerulean Blue Hue is, as I found, a perfectly acceptable alternative for a non-toxic palette, I did find myself missing the soft granulation of a genuine Cerulean. I've included it here for its beautiful mixes with the Earth Reds in particular to make interesting grays, as well as for its ability to make soft granulating purples with the Alizarin. I of course had to include Denise's Green in this set, which is my version of a sap green made from PY129 and PB60. I've been glad to hear over the past several months how much you all have been enjoying this color, and I'm super grateful to be able to add it here once again. If you know me, then you also know that my love for Perline Green runs deep. Made from PBK31, it is not only in my Earth Friendly palette, but it's also in my original trio. I've got tons of videos here on the channel that feature this color, including its very own color spotlight, if you want to learn more about the rich greens, moody teals, and deep blacks that it can make. For our earth tones, we are starting with the raw sienna, which is the first of four PBR7s included in this set. For more information on the differences between PBR7s, go ahead and check out my color spotlight series as it will explain why they all look different. As for the raw sienna itself, many of you know my affinity for certain yellow ochres. However, for added versatility, I wanted to use the raw sienna here. It can be mixed with the yellow for a brighter earth yellow, or it can be added to the other earth tones to make various shades of brown. It also makes very earthy oranges and greens when used as a warm yellow. Next up is Burnt Sienna, which I probably don't have to explain too much about its inclusion. A palette staple, Da Vinci's Burnt Sienna, sits somewhere between Daniel Smith's pinky earthy version and the more bright and transparent PR101 versions. Made from PBR7, it has an earthiness to it, but not so much that it pulls down the color and makes it drab. 
Indian red is a color that I've only been using for about a year and a half or so, but I've completely fallen in love with it and can't imagine a wildlife palette without it anymore. You've heard me talk about Terra Rosa from M. Graham here on the channel, which is essentially the same hue as Indian red. The opacity and strength of this color take some getting used to, but it's absolutely perfect for so many applications in wildlife paintings from the insides of animal ears when it's watered down to the beautiful grays it mixes when combined with just about any blue. Then we have the two umbers, Burnt and Raw, both made from PBR7 once again. Burnt Umber has been on my palette since day one, though Raw Umber took some time to come around to. While I'm generally a fan of warmer colors on their own, Raw Umber has earned its place on my palette ten times over. It's often crucial for painting cooler brown tones on animal fur, feathers, and scales, and is definitely a color worth keeping around. Finally, we have the last new color for this palette, a neutral tint made from PBK6, PV19, and PB15. This is probably the type of color that I miss most on my earth-friendly palette. While I avoid using two blacks in large areas on paintings, I have run my umbers and ultramarine pans dry, trying to mix up black every single time that I need to add a sharp, dark detail like those found on eyes and noses. While you can certainly make blacks with the other colors on this palette, this one is here for a shortcut that can be used sparingly on its own or to deepen the colors of the other pigments on your palette. I've been painting out a little swatch card over the last few minutes in the video as it's always a good idea to have a real representation of the colors that you're using, though I will say that the folks over at DaVinci did a pretty darn good job with this printout as the colors are very accurate for what it's worth. I also have a mixing chart that I made during the creation phase of this palette to make sure that the palette would work as intended. As always, this is only a glimpse of the colors that can be made from this palette as different quantities of each color will change the lineup, but it gives you a good idea of the earthy goodness that awaits you inside. You can find a high resolution version over on my website and I'll put a link in the description below. The last thing that I want to mention real quick about the palettes themselves is for the people who have or have seen my announcement for the original Earth Friendly palette. The original palette came in a dark gray tin with rounded edges. All of the palettes from this point forward will be of the lighter gray tins that you've seen in this video so that the larger palettes match the smaller sets and they're consistent across the brand. I did ask them about this and they do still have some of the older style tins which will be available while supplies last if you buy the empty palette listing through their standalone listing on the website. I don't know exactly how many they have but I was told that they would be there until they no longer have stock. Da Vinci will be releasing some other new products alongside mine this week from other artists as well. I haven't seen them yet, but I am excited to see what everyone has come up with. If you're watching this the week of Thanksgiving 2019, there will also be a promotion running this Friday through Sunday. The promotion is if you make a purchase worth $75 of watercolor products, you'll get one free trio. If the purchase is worth over $150 of watercolor supplies, you'll get three free trios. Da Vinci will pick the trios and there's no coupon code needed. The free item will not show up in your cart at checkout, but will be included in your shipment. The deal ends on Sunday or when supplies last. Separately from Da Vinci, I also made a small limited run of Patreon exclusive Fawn stickers that match the mixing chart artwork for the new Wildlife palette. All of my patrons at the postcard tier or higher will be given a little extra gift in December for the holidays of this sticker. There are a couple spots left as of making this video, so be sure to snag one if you'd like this little cutie to adorn your new palette. I do believe that's everything for now. Be sure to check back on Friday for our annual watercolor gift guide collaboration between Eve, Sade, Caria, and myself, and I will see you in that next video. Thank you again to Da Vinci for all of you who trust and enjoy my work, and as always to my patrons for their amazing support. Until next time, happy painting!